On the morning of April 1st, 1878, Billy the Kid and several other fellow regulators were back here behind the John Tunstall store in Lincoln, New Mexico. At that time, there was an old corral back here and there was an adobe wall that ran off of the edge of the Tunstall store across this alleyway that you're seeing. It would have ran in this direction across here. And then this building here, you see, was not here at the time. So they would have had a clear view of the street in 1878 on April 1st. Sheriff William Brady, Deputy George Heinemann, and Deputy Billy Matthews were walking east, either on horseback or on foot. There's various accounts about that. They were walking east along the main street to post a notice at the courthouse that court would not be held that morning or to arrest Alexander McSween. There's two opposing theories on that, on what they were doing. But as they rode past the Tunstall store, or walked past the Tunstall store, Billy the Kid and his regulators opened fire from this approximate location. It is believed that Sheriff Brady and the deputies when the regulators opened up on them were more in that direction. Again, that house was not here in 1878, so they would have had a clear view of fire. We're gonna walk up to the street now. Billy Matthews fled toward the Cisneros house, which is over that direction, to take cover. Sheriff Brady and George Heinemann fell dead in the street up here. I'm gonna walk you up here. There's actually a marker about where he fell, I'll show you. Now we are walking east. And the state has the marker put right about here, commemorating their deaths. Although it's of course debated exactly where they fell, some accounts say they did fall closer back toward the Tunstall store, and some people believe it was as far down as where I walked you to just now. But if we stop right up here, you see the Tunstall store. Let me get past these trees to give you a clearer view. Okay, you see the Tunstall store on the left, which is where the regulators were kind of behind and to the side of, and then that building to the right, which was not there. So no matter exactly where they was at out here, the regulators had a clear uh, field of fire to hit them. So they did fall out in the street, Sheriff Brady was dead immediately. Heinemann died a short time later. And then Billy the Kid dashed from the adobe wall by the Tunstall store. And some people say he was looking for the arrest warrants for McSween. And some people say that he was looking to get his rifle back that Brady had confiscated from him a short time before. And while he was out there, either Billy or another regulator, again, that part's disputed as well, was shot by Billy Matthews, who was firing from the Cisneros house which would be down diagonally off of the west side of the Tunstall store, which is the side opposite of us. But anyway, obviously there's lots of conflicting accounts, but I tried to present as many that I could remember. What we do know is that Sheriff Brady and Deputy Heinlein were both killed here that day somewhere out in the street in that vicinity. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you.